Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I have been under the weather for the last uh, two weeks. Not COVID, but serious respiratory infection. So my voice is a little weirder than usual. But I have a new toy here from Banggood. This is a Unity uh, 900 series function wave generator. And it's a function generator. And uh, they allowed me to kind of choose some different things that I wanted to play around with. And uh, this is not my area of expertise. But I've always wanted one, uh, besides the little one that comes with my uh, scope. So this is the UTG962E, and we're going to do just kind of a first look at the thing and an unboxing. So let's cut the thing open and see what you get. Now, this was shipped from Banggood, but it came from the United States, which meant that I got it here in just a couple of days, uh, which is kind of cool. People always think Banggood uh, takes months to ship, but nope, they have a lot of stuff from the US. So uh, even though there was some damage on the box, uh, that knob looks intact and everything. Uh, let's take a look at the accessories first. We get a... We have a uh, just a basic operational guide here that uh, tells us how, let's see here, you can search the model number, uh, enter the product page, download the manual online. So they basically tell you how to get the manual. Uh, that's cool. It comes with a, uh, this one's got a European or US uh, power adapter. Comes with a little power brick, USB power brick. Uh, this is uh, the thing takes five volts so it just is adapting that USB to the five volt barrel jack. It comes with two sets of, uh, I guess you wouldn't call them probes, call them leads. Uh, so it has a BNC to alligator clip and a BNC to BNC. That's cool. I have an extra set of each of these from my meter so that should give me BNC to whatever and we have a cat. What do you think? Do you approve? Looking at the unit itself, we have, uh, it's not a very big unit, it's, uh, but it does appear to be decent quality. It's kind of funny because I, I've, you know, it, it has the, the plastic just feels the same as a normal scope. It's got these nice little rubber feet here, a uh, little teeny tiny power switch there, uh, USB and DC. Now I'm not sure if this is just USB for power or if this might have some kind of output, but that would be pretty cool. If it could be software controlled, I have no idea. Uh, so we've got the, uh, f what is that called? Frequency key, frequency shift keying, uh, and sync, as well as the two channel outputs. And that is one thing to note. This is a 60 megahertz uh, function generator, but two channels. So that's kind of cool. You could output two waves at once, uh, warranty void if broken. So uh, I'm going to take a look at the thing. We're not going to do a real in-depth review, but I'm going to fire it up and see what I can learn about the thing. So I spent some time playing with this thing and uh, learned a little bit about the interface. Now, obviously, I have a long way to go. Um, not an expert in this stuff, but uh, I have found it relatively easy to use. The first thing I went and did is went and turned off the little beeping sound. I know you guys will appreciate that, so you're not hearing a beep every time I push a button. But um, I found it really easy to use. I'm only using the first channel at the moment, and I've got it just set up a little sine wave here on my scope. Uh, kind of funny, you watch these videos on YouTube and you've got people who get function generators and the use that they show you for them is they hook them up to their scope to uh, you know make cool patterns on the screen and then you know you ask them, well, what do you use your scope for? Uh, for testing my function generator. So I, you know, uh, but there are real world uses for this stuff and so we'll talk about those a little bit. Uh, but it can do all the typical things. It can make uh, square waves and pulse waves and ramps and arbitrary waves and you can come through here and generate noise and, and uh, you know flip through some options like that. And then uh, you can also come through, let me page back up here, you can also come through and adjust your modulation. You can simulate AM, PM, FM, FSK, line, log, all that kind of stuff. And you can come through here 
and you can do different sweeps which is kind of cool like let's say that you are building some kind of filter or whatever and you are trying to filter out certain ranges of frequencies well what you can do is you can come through here and you can choose a starting frequency and a stopping frequency and an amount of time like you could even say over the course of a full minute or so you want it to go from you know one hertz all the way up to 60,000 and you want to sit here and watch on your scope what's coming out the other side you know is this filter really filtering what it's supposed to filter uh, that's a real world application for something like this and so you know you can do all the math you want on paper and your components can have these specs but until you actually put a signal in one side and come out the other you don't know exactly what your filter is doing uh, and so you know really nice to be able to sweep through all the frequencies and just watch in your scope and see what's happening there so um, just some really cool stuff here uh, you can come through and obviously you can do all the kinds of uh, you know changes that you'd expect to be able to change you can change your amplitude and your peak to peak and you know your frequency and, and all that kind of stuff um, it is a little weird to me uh, I can come down here and as you can see you might have a little hard time reading on the screen uh, I can come down and I can it's funny when that's highlighted you can't see it on the screen but uh, I can drop these down one at a time and you'll see it'll it'll go down but it is a little weird like when you start entering numbers like if I just start coming in here in like five I need to know the number of digits uh, because when I hit this it's just gonna pick a you know so that was me, uh, millihertz I guess that would be uh, so it is a little weird entering things by hand but you know once you learn the decimal places uh, not too bad there the other thing these things are great for is just simulating anything that has an oscillator in it so before you actually set up your oscillator you can use the function generator to simulate that oscillator so right now I'm running at uh, 1.8 I've got a 3.5 voltage peak to peak 50% duty cycle on a square wave and I'm actually powering this LED with 9 volts through this transistor and uh, as you can see here when I come I'll go over to the second digit uh, as I begin to lower this down you can see the thing flashes slower you can watch it as I crank it up we're in the 3.6 4.4 you can see the LED flashing faster uh, let's slow it back down here a little bit you can see that if we go down to the duty cycle I can increase the duty cycle so it stays on longer per flash and uh, I could even come in here and let's say let's make it a sine wave and we should get a little bit of a fading effect let's slow it down a little bit yeah, you can see the LED is uh, is sort of fading on and off. Let's raise it up a little more. Now, what you could also do, see, if you look at this wave here, you can see that it's spending half its time below zero. So what you could do is come down here to the offset, and you could actually raise that offset up. And you'll see now it's never getting completely below the voltage to turn the thing off and uh see so you get it might be a little hard to see on the screen but you can see you can see a fade where the led doesn't turn fully off so again there's just all kinds of things that you could simulate with this with just the the push of a button and a twirl of a knob so uh, i do want to thank banggood for sending this to me and uh stuff like this challenges me to become a better maker to learn ways to to use this kind of stuff i hope it's interesting to you they were nice enough to provide uh not only the unit for free for the channel but they've also provided coupon code so if you're interested in this one uh you know you can get these things right now for just over a hundred bucks and that is a price that's just unheard of um you know a couple of years ago i mean there's a lot of people who are buying two megahertz function generators but to be able to get something of this quality with this nice of a ui this nice of a screen for about a hundred bucks is awesome so hey thanks for watching hope you learned a little bit hope you had a good day stay healthy out there